Dice Search is designed to save you time and find the most relevant candidates. The easiest way to start is with Dice and Telesearch. To use IntelliSearch, simply copy and paste in a job description or a resume that is at least 150 characters. Add in the job title and then possible location, then click search. Running a search with DICE is all about narrowing down to find the most relevant technologists. We recommend either adding in a Boolean or using one of the many filters. It is recommended with filters just like you would in a Boolean, starting with your must-haves and then slowly adjust to your nice-to-haves. We also recommend clicking search every time you make an adjustment because this will ensure you don't get too narrow, resulting in not a good candidate pool. Saving your search after you have included all of your filters saves you time because you would be able to return later or even toggle on email alerts for new candidates. To save your search, you will go to the top of the candidate list and click Save Search and Alerts. This is where you will either create and name a new search, or if you choose, you can override an existing search. You can opt into a daily or weekly cadence. This will send you an email of new candidates that match your criteria directly to your inbox. The candidates you receive will either be brand new to DICE or have updated their profile to meet your criteria. On your account, what is considered a view? Anytime you open a profile or download, depending on what model you purchase with DICE. When searching the DICE candidate database, you use a view each time you look at a candidate. Clicking a candidate's name, opening their profile uses a view. Downloading the candidate's profile from the preview card also uses a view. The best way to remember what uses a view is to think that any action you do to view the candidate's contact information, when you are not already viewing their contact information, it will use a view. For example, once you have clicked into the candidate's full profile, downloading their resume from here will not use an additional view as you are already viewing the contact information. However, if you were to go back to the candidate's profile on a different day, you will exhaust another view if you click on them and or download them. The reason you are charged another view is that the candidate may have updated their profile from the last time you have looked at them. Back in the search area on the candidate preview card, you can see key information around experience, skills, preferences, as well as interaction history. The eye icon on the right hand side will have a line through it if you have not viewed the candidate yet. Once you have, the line will go away and the icon will bold itself. If you hover over it, it will tell you when you last viewed the candidate. Right next to that is a people icon. When no one else in your group has viewed the candidate, the icon will be an outline. Once someone has viewed the candidate, the icon will be bold. Just like the eye, if you hover over the people icon, you will be able to see who last viewed the candidate within your group and when. The dice tag feature is a great way to organize candidates right within the site. When you are within the candidate's profile, if you scroll towards the bottom, there is a section for tags. You can add whatever you would like within these tags. You are the only one who can see these. No one on your team or others can see them. Typically, recruiters will put in the name of the job title or project they are working on. For example, if you were searching for software developers, you can put just that in as a tag. Many people will also add the location they searched or get more specific to where the candidate is from. Again, you can put in here whatever you would like. You are the only one who sees these. To access the tags and use them as folders, you will scroll back to the top of the page and click on Talent Search, then Interaction History. From here, you will be able to see all the candidates you have looked at and it will default to view from most recent. From here, you can mix and match your tags to view the candidates you need. For example, if I wanted to find every software developer I have looked at in Colorado, I will click on both my software developer tag and my Colorado tag. This is a great, easy way to have DICE organize candidates for you.